no hat today. Finally got a haircut, which is good because I was starting to look a little like Tom Hanks from Outcast. I'm <laughs> Outcast. That's a musical group. That's not what I meant to say at all. Tom Hanks from Castaway. <laughs> but anyway, it's Monday. Let's talk about some man shit. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Manship Monday. In these videos, we cover a pretty broad spectrum of man-centric, men-related hobbies and interests and subjects, stuff like that. We covered cigars and whiskey and EDC knives. We cover beard care and maintenance and grooming and stuff like that, which is what we're gonna cover today. We're gonna kinda go back into that men's grooming category. We're gonna look into men's skincare. Do you just say men's skincare? Pump those brakes there, Abercrombie. What in the hell are you flapping your gums about? Yes, men's skincare. Like, you know, washing your face, little grooming, maintaining things, moisturizing. <laughs> moisturizing. That's a good one. Are you going to stop off and get a non fat soy latte on the way to get your pedicure there, sunshine? This is Men Shit Monday. We talk about cigars. We talk about whiskey. We talk about knives. We don't talk about moisturizing. I'm not going to lie, latte sounds pretty good, actually. I'm a little tired today. But quit being Judgy McJudgerton, man. Lots of guys are into grooming and take, there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. I mean, I do that, I take care of myself. I shower at least once a week, whether I need it or not. See, that's what that smell was. See, I knew that shit was you. Nasty. That sounded like judgment. That sounded like judgment. Look, we can't do this right now. I was filming this video. The deal was you were gonna sit there and smoke your cigar, I was gonna film my video. You're embarrassing me in front of, I'm trying to talk to my friends here. Men's skincare is something a lot of guys do, and if they don't do it, it's something they should look into. It's good for them. I would argue being well-groomed is a more manly activity than being stinky like yourself. Hmm. And I'd like to argue, if you don't stop calling me stinky, I'm gonna come over and whoop your ass. And this tea stuff is really simple. It follows your favorite method. What's that thing, the acronym you use? Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. It's a good rule to live by. Yes, exactly. That's Tija's whole motto. It's uncomplicated. That's their deal. Here, check it out. Mm, what you got for me there, skinny jeans? Mm, that is some good looking packaging. With all this black, one might even call it tactical. I knew you'd come around. Hey, who knows? Maybe you'll learn a little about grooming and you'll even figure out how to get rid of that smell because man, it's pungent. I don't even know what that is. It's just pungent. You're pushing your luck, baby gap. <laughs> It's good. Hey, look, I totally get where he's coming from. 95% of the time, I'm in t-shirts and flip-flop. Hell, I don't even like to shave. That's how this whole thing got started. But about a year ago, I started using this t Hanley, and honestly, I've been really happy with it. It's not like the complicated, like you would think of skincare. It cuts out all the BS for guys like you and me and just makes it really easy. I was using Tiege Hanley long before they ever reached out to me. And I showed you this guy's last time just so y'all don't think I'm full of it. Oh yeah, Jeremy, whatever, you're doing it because they're paying you. No, no. There you go, right there. December 2018. I was using this stuff well before we ever partnered up. But I think this is a product that's worth mentioning to you guys. I think this is something that could help you guys out. I had a couple prerequisites when I was dealing with getting into maybe taking a little better care of my face. One was, like I said, I'm a guy's guy. I don't want a big muss and fuss. I'm not going to do. My wife's skincare routine takes like 20 minutes every night and probably the same amount of time in the morning. 10, 15 products. You have to have a chemistry degree. There's power tools involved. Like, I'm just not getting into all that. It had to be simple. It also had to be relatively inexpensive. I have a lot of other hobbies that eat up my expendable income, like knives and cigars and whiskey and all the stuff we talk about on Manship Mondays all the time. So I can't be dropping a whole bunch of money in skincare. And I had to see some results. I'm not gonna go through the extra step of doing anything else with a daily routine if I don't see any improvement from it. And Tiege Hanley kind of checked off a lot of those boxes. So just to start, if you have no idea who, what I'm talking about or no idea what Tiege Hanley is, it is a monthly subscription men's skincare system. You just go on the website, you pick the level of the system that you wanna use, and they send you a 30-day supply of everything you're gonna need 
every single month. And they even send you a cool little card here that has all your instructions for your morning, your evening, and it's even got some little graphical circle-like dollop jobs that show you exactly how much of each product you're gonna use. You have everything you need to know on this one little card. You can customize how often you get it. You can pause your subscription whenever you want. There's no contract, so you can stop it whenever you want. For a guy like me, and for a lot of you guys from what I've seen, you've got beards. So I've got a lot less face than a lot of people do. So I tend to use a little less of this product than what's needed and it lasts a little longer than 30 days for me. So I can go in there and adjust how often I get my box or even if I get a stockpile of stuff built up, I can even pause it for a month or two and then restart it when I'm starting to run low. One of the reasons I've stuck with Tiege Hanley and been consistent with it is that it's just really easy. Even with the higher level systems that come with more products, you're looking at like five minutes or less to go through the whole thing, which was important to me. It had to be something I could integrate into my daily routine quickly, easily, without a lot of muss and fuss. They used to have level one, two, three. Now they have level zero, one, and three. Right, yeah, zero, one, and three. They don't have a two anymore, which is a little confusing. And their motto is uncomplicated. Where did two go? I mean, did two do something wrong? Are you guys mad at two? Is that why you got rid of two? That's a little complicated. It kind of goes against you guys' motto. Just a point. This might be sponsored, but I'm gonna give you guys a straight shot. That's a little weird. I don't understand why they skipped two. But anyway, you've got three systems, so level zero, level one, level three. Your level zero system is gonna be your baseline. That's gonna include a wash and a moisturizer. In your level one system, you're gonna have the same wash, but they're gonna add a scrub, and now you're gonna have two moisturizers. When you jump up to a three, skipping two, two feels totally left out, I might add. It's hurtful, I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> triggered. But when you jump up to a level three, you're gonna get all the same stuff you get in your level two, your wash, your scrub, your two moisturizers. Now they're also gonna include their eye cream and their super serum. So whether you're just interested in just washing your face and moisturizing or what level of that you want, they do offer several different packages based on what you're looking to do. Today, we're gonna take a look at the products in the level three system only because that includes most everything they offer. That way we won't miss anything. The first thing in the system is the face wash. You're gonna use that twice a day, morning and night, and you're gonna wash your mug with it. The whole purpose of that is just to clean the dirt. Removes all the dirt, grime, nasty stuff from your face, but the good thing about it is it doesn't over dry your face. If you guys were like me up until I started using this stuff, which you probably are, you use bar soap. That stuff dries your face out, strips all the crap off your face, which actually isn't good because then it makes your face produce more oil and you end up with this whole Exxon Valdez oil spill situation going on in your face. My face used to always be really oily and I never really knew why, and that was because I was stripping all the oils off of it. See, this is stuff us guys don't know. My wife actually clued me in on that one. Next, you have the face scrub. Now, the face scrub you're not going to use every day. You're only going to use this once or twice a week. The whole point of the face scrub is it's actually got like ground up apricot seeds or apricot shells or something like that, if I'm remembering correctly in it. And the whole point of that is to help remove dead skin from your face. It helps with those blackheads and stuff you get so it doesn't look like somebody took a pepper shaker and shook it all over your nose. We deal with it as guys. We're dirty. We're out in the garage doing shit and your face gets dirty and you end up, but it helps remove the dead skin and stuff in your face. It promotes new skin growth, does lots of good stuff. I actually really like this one. It's got kind of like a menthol -y situation. So anytime I use it a couple times a week, it's a real like cooling sensation, kind of like a fresh feeling. I don't know, I dig it. I leave the stuff in the shower and a couple times a week, I give it a good scrub and do my exfoliating. Man, it's tough to sound manly and say exfoliating. <laughs> it really is, but hey, I do it. Judge me if you want. It's good for your face. I'm actually a big advocate of doing a lot of this stuff in the shower. I like to get out of the shower and be done with most of my stuff. So a lot of times I use the face wash in the shower. I use the scrub a couple times a week in the shower. I brush my teeth in the shower. I do all that crap in the shower. So that way when I get out, I'm done. So that's just a pro tip. That has nothing to do with the Tiege Hanley. It's just something that I do. And you might want to try. It saves you time. The next product we have is their Super Serum. And I regret to inform you that Unfortunately, even though this stuff is good for your face, it will not turn you into Captain America. <laughs> was, that, was that too dorky of a reference for you guys? Do you know the, cat, the super serum is what turned Captain, he was skinny and then, don't play cool guy with me. A lot of you guys knew that reference. I don't wanna hear it. Don't play the cool guy card, bullshit. You guys knew Captain America is awesome. It will not turn you into Captain America, but it is really good stuff. This is another one you're going to use twice a day, day and night. One of the things I really like about the super serum and the eye cream is they come in like little pumps. So rather than having to figure out I need a you know dime size or a pea size or whatever, it's just one pump, just one little squirt. That's the perfect amount. That's all you need. The whole point of the super serum is it's got lots of vitamins, nutrients, antioxidants, stuff like that in there just to keep your face looking nice and healthy. 
This stuff is good for all ages. By all means, the younger you start taking care of your face, the better. But definitely for you guys out there that are like me, maybe you're in your 40s or a little older, hey, a little bit of help with the wrinkles isn't gonna hurt. Next, we have the eye cream, and that's just like the serum. You're gonna use that twice a day, but this one you're only gonna apply around the old peepers. You're only gonna put it around your eyes. This stuff is specifically designed to help with those bags and dark circles under your eyes and work on those crow's feet a little bit. This is another one that sometimes I'll get a little bit of a cooling sensation with. So I don't know if it's like the doing its thing, but I don't know, makes me feel good and awake in the morning. And last you have your moisturizers and they break their moisturizers up to AM and PM. They do that for a very specific reason. The AM moisturizer is gonna be a little lighter and it also includes a 20 SPF, which I really, really like. Living in Florida, the sun here is crazy bright. I have seen plenty of relatives have to get skin cancer and all kinds of stuff burned off and it is not a cool thing to deal with when you get older. Putting a little protection on your face every day to keep that from happening is always a good idea. Then the night moisturizer doesn't have any SPF SPF, but it is a little more nourishing and it's gonna help kind of moisturize your face a little better overnight while you sleep. They don't leave my face feeling greasy. I've put lotions and stuff on my face before. They just made my face feel really greasy and oily and nasty and I don't like the feel of lotion on my hands. I don't like particularly soft hands. I like calluses because I do stuff. I work with my hands a lot. Lift weights, which actually I haven't been doing enough of lately, but that's another, that's a whole nother video. This stuff though, you put it on, sinks right in. You don't even know you have anything on there. And that's it, really not that much stuff. It might've sounded like a little bit as we were going through each individual thing kind of in detail, but really this goes crazy quick. It doesn't take me more than I'd say two or three minutes in the morning, two or three or nine minutes at night to run through this. Less than 10 minutes a day total. I feel like it's a pretty good investment. And it's cleared up some crap I had with my face. I used to get these like red dry spots on my face sometimes, which was really weird because I would have red dry spots and oily face at the same time. And I never understood how the hell your face could be oily and dry at the same time. So. I don't know what that was all about, <laughs> but this has cleared that up completely. I don't have that anymore. And my face just generally feels better. And I'm perfectly aware this is not near as fun of a topic as the stuff we normally talk about, the whiskey and the knives and the cigars and all the normal guy stuff. I get that. I still wanted to bring it to you guys. It's worked really well for me. And I think it's something that most guys overlook or don't really think about. And it does have some benefit and it's worth looking into. T. Hanley has been kind enough to offer me a discount for you guys. So if this is something you're interested in, I'm gonna put a link below the video, click on that link and that will get you 10% off your first box of Tee Shanley. That is another episode of Man Shit Monday in the books. I hope you guys got some good information out of this video and you enjoyed hanging out with me for a little while today. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. And relax guys, we'll be back to knives and whiskey and cigars and smoking stuff and lighting crap on fire and all the normal guy crap next week. All right, so just check out these though. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. One bullshit you got.